All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. This man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Hollywood, California, Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your point. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting. And it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Block that kick to the body. Just missing on the high kick there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one?
came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Punch over the top. How good is that right now? Caught that kick there. Circling away towards the left now. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. And they separate. He gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Oh, straight right. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Lee gets caught with that punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Strong defense there to block the shot. Strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better starts to move and when the opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Head kick. Blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful punch. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Lips and rips. How about that for execution? Yeah. Yeah. Where are those kicks at? Oh. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Right, yeah. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. inflicted there. Nice super punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Oh man, how is he still 
outstanding brutal knee to the body. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Great punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, huge block. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, big left hand there. Going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very badly. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. There you go, look for the shot. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. That was a nice strike. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Trying to kick the leg out. Kick to the body by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. Leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Twenty seconds to go, round two. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. 
I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice right in. He lands the head kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Nice straight punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. And he continues to work the body here. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just out of range with that right hand. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Ooh, what a punch. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to feet. Under three minutes now to go in the round. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And really starting to make these shots count. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Back to the feet now. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice punch, Lance. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Just missing on the counter there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice body kick land. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Big leg kick land. Blocks the shot. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, nice. Nice. Big diving punch lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 30 seconds to go here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. 
All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. That's a big strike right there. Real sneaky body kick. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice leg kick lands. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Real quick leg kick. Big kick lands. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Big body kick. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Moving to his left now. Way to hide that leg kick. Just a slip there. What a punch. John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over three minutes to go. You got to check these low leg kicks. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Big leg kick land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Checks the leg kick. on the right there to no avail. Ninety seconds remain in the round. Nice knee to the body there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Good punch, Lance. And both guys really throwing with authority. His hands are down. Under 
a minute to go. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Under a minute to go in round four. This one back, the head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 25 seconds, of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. 